Hey, this is Andrew bringing you another Keyforge deck reveal and review. This is going to be a Worlds Collide deck that I won last night at Weekly Sealed. Managed to go 2-1 uh, with a 56 SAS deck um, that had some uh, had some interesting Amber Control. It had an Infernus and then a couple of Berserker Slams. Had some had some Amber Control in decent Brobnar, but uh, overall kind of struggled um, and uh, just didn't have ways to particularly race or to uh, consistently, reliably stop the opponent. So ended up uh, losing in a really fun last game, but it, it was great. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I got this deck, and I'll show it to you now. This is Comrade R. Windcrag. Uh, wow, what, what is that? I'm going to guess it's untamed. Uh, maybe, maybe Saurian and Brobnar? That's my guess. We got Deese, so I was wrong about at least one. Logos and Star Alliance. I didn't get a single house right. Deese, Logos, and Star Alliance. Uh, wow, this has a lot of potential to be cool synergistic stuff. I'm hoping uh, Logos and Star Alliance turn this into something that'll just go screaming fast. Maybe have some Amber and Board Control in Deese. Uh, and really, you can have some Amber and Board Control in the others too, so could be pretty good. We'll see. All right. Uh, start with Binding Irons. Uh, play it. Your opponent gains three chains. Good way to swing the tempo. Then we have a Dendrix, a five power demon with fight. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Exhume is an action with a bonus amber. Choose a creature in your discard pile. You may play that creature as if it belonged to the active house and was in your hand. Nice. Uh, with the Exhume, I would love to get like some Infernus, maybe Edai, stuff like that. Maybe, uh, I mean, in Star Alliance, there could be some good stuff too. Harbinger of Doom is a two-power demon with three armor. After it's destroyed, or when it's destroyed, you destroy each creature. Malison is a five-power demon with fight. You may move an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Then if it's on a flank, it captures one from its own side. It's a little bit of amber control. Evil Eye, some more amber control. Gain an amber, and then keys cost plus three during your opponent's next turn. I always like being able to play that. Poltergeist is really good artifact control. It's an action with a bonus amber. Uh, when you play it, you use an artifact controlled by any player as if it were yours, and then you destroy that artifact. Really nice for those golden spirals and things like that. Spider is a two-power demon with skirmish, and uh, it gains poison while it's attacking an enemy flank creature. Okay. Can be board control. Two of those. Three fates. Uh, three fates is interesting with the spiders because usually it'll kill stuff around the spiders. And, and leave the spiders to be able to do good work. Uh, so Three Fates gives you bonus amber and destroys the three most powerful creatures. And we probably won't have... I don't expect a lot of big creatures uh, for the rest of this. Probably fives are going to be the biggest we have. Maybe a couple sixes, but I'm guessing we're going to have a lot of fives, which means this is pretty good against, like, Brobnar and Saurian decks. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Orb of Invidious is an artifact with a bonus amber, and it says after a creature reaps, stun it. This applies to you and your opponent. That could be pretty brutal. Um, hmm. Of course, we can always kill it with the Poltergeist if we need to. Uh, and the last thing we get is a Human's Bane. It's an action with a bonus amber that destroys a human, a human creature. Um, now, if we don't get a lot of reap effects, the orb could be pretty good. And we have a lot of bonus amber, so we're going to be getting amber that way. Yeah, let's see what happens here. In Logos, we have Daughter, a two-power cyborg scientist with Elusive, and uh, she makes her hand size one bigger. That's fantastic. Wouldn't mind more of those, but just the one. Igor is a two-power cyborg. When you play it, you look at three card the top three cards of your deck, you add one to your hand, and you discard the others. Great filtering. Hapsis is a five-power mutant and scientist. After an enemy creature is destroyed fighting it, you ward it and draw a card. Really nice. I've been able to get really good mileage out of these, so I'm always happy to find Hapsis. Sometimes it gets killed, but that means the opponent had to deal with a 5 power creature, which usually costs them something. Hologramophone is an artifact with a bonus amber. Uh, it can exhaust to ward a creature. This is great. Sometimes people will like try to plink a Hapsis so that, you know, oh, now it's back to 4 damage and no ward on it, um, and you can reward it with the hologramophone if you have it out. It's also good for protecting the daughter. 
two of those, nice, I don't mind that at all. And you can use it on the D's turn if you need with a Poltergeist. Tau Tau Vapors is an action that draws you two cards and then archives one. Nice. Thorium Plasmate, action with a bonus amber. After you play it, you move an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Deal two to that creature for each of its neighbors that it shares that shares a house with it. Uh, so potentially four damage to a single creature. We don't have, well I guess we have some spot removal. Um, but uh, yeah, this is good to have in here. I, I might prefer something like a Twin Bolt or a um, Positron, but this is fine. Candle Unit is a five power robot with one armor. It's really, it's really a nice card. Uh, it says after an enemy creature reaps, draw a card. And it can exhaust to capture one, that's fine, but that ability to draw when an opponent reaps is really good. If you have this and the orb on the table, then you're really, really punishing your opponent for reaping. They're gonna, they're gonna wanna deal with the Candle Unit first, I'm sure. Then we have Dr. Millie. It's a two power scientist with play for each creature your opponent controls in excess of you, not counting Dr. Millie. That's an important thing that people tend to forget. You archive a card. Um, so sometimes this is good. I, f I find it doesn't pop a lot, but um, depends on how many creatures you have on the board. This doesn't seem particularly creature heavy, so it could be nice. Two of those, okay. And then we have Quantum Finger Trap. This is an artifact with a bonus amber that can exhaust to swap the position of two creatures in a battle line. Hmm. Nothing in here that I particularly care about the positioning of. So, but on the opponent's side, maybe. Just maybe. Oh, and then we have Academy Training. This is an upgrade that says if you control, uh, if you control this creature, it belongs to House Logos instead of its original house, and it also gains Reap Draw a card. Um... The important thing, the interesting thing about that is it means if you put this on an opponent's creature, it doesn't change the house, but it does give it reap draw card. So you almost certainly want to put this on your own creature. Sometimes just putting this on your own Igor might be fine, uh, but you know, popping it onto a Dece or Star Alliance creature might be nice. And this makes me think I probably end up not wanting the Orb of Invidious on the table because I I, I want reap effects. I I'd rather have the candle unit and just have my opponent's reaping benefit me. Uh, but, again, there's always that poltergeist, so it's probably okay. Uh, Arms Master Melina, we're into Star Alliance territory now. Arms Master Melina is a four power human with Hazardous 3, and, it all, and she also gives her neighbors Hazardous 3. That's really nice for protecting your board. We haven't seen, I haven't seen any taunts yet, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but, but Melina can do a really good job of protecting things. Chief Engineer Walls is a two-power human with Elusive, and play, fight, reap, you may return an upgrade or robot card from your discard pile to your hand. Do we have any robots so far? So we have the Academy Training upgrade. Uh, oh, Candle Unit's a uh, robot, so that could be really nice. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to, like, throw Academy Training onto Walls and get to, you know, bring the Candle Unit back that way and play it on a, on a, uh, on a Logos turn. That could be pretty cool. Uh, I don't think we had any upgrades in Dece, and I don't think we had any robots either. We'll see what we get. Calm Officer Kirby is a three-power human with Play, Fight, Reap. You may play a non-Star Alliance artifact, upgrade, or action card this turn. Really nice. And we have a, plenty of things to, to pick from, right? I mean, that gives us access to playing Quantum Finger Trap, uh, Thorium Plasmate, Tau Tau Vapors, one of the Hologramma phones. Uh, Human's Bane, Orb of Invidious, Three Fates, Poltergeist, Evil Eye, or Exhume, or Binding Irons on the Star Alliance turn. So that is really nice. And this is also a great Exhume target. Commander Chan is a four power human with Fight Reap, use another friendly creature. Ooh. Yeah, that's solid. Explore Rover is a three power robot with Skirmish, and it can be played as an upgrade instead of a creature, and in that case, it gives the creatures attached to Skirmish. Karkar is a five power alien hand you hand with Taunt and Hazardous 3, and if you throw, um, if you throw Molina next to it, then it suddenly has Hazardous 6, which is just crazy. Light of the Archons is an upgrade with a bonus amber that gives a creature plus one power and plus one armor for each upgrade attached to it. So far, we can have three upgrades, right? The Light of the Archons, the Explorer, and the Academy Training. 
two of those. Wow, nice. Sensor Chief Garcia is a three power human with play, fight, reap, keys cost plus two during your opponent's next turn. That's the amber control we haven't seen a ton of. So glad to have that. Um, yeah. Oh, Information Officer Gray is a four power human with play, fight, reap. You may reveal a non Star Alliance card from your hand, and if you do, you archive it. Oh, Science Officer Morpheus is a two power. Shapeshifter and Scientist with one armor. It says after you play a creature with a play effect, trigger its play effect an additional time. Now most of the play effects we have so far, what we have, are in Star Alliance, right? We got Gray, Garcia, uh, Kirby, Walls. Those are really nice play effects. Dr. Millie could fire again. Igor could fire a second time. That'd be cool. And none of the these creatures have play effects. And last card in here, ooh, is Wall's Blaster. Wall's Blaster is an upgrade with a bonus amber. It gives the creature Fight Reap. You may deal two damage to a creature or attach Wall's Blaster to Chief Engineer Walls. And after you attach the Blaster to Walls, you stun a creature for each upgrade on Walls. So potentially, when this attaches, it could... Two, three, four... Five. You could potentially stun five creatures when you attach this to walls, which would be pretty cool. It's also really nice just to get the you know the two damage effect. That can be really nice, especially we I didn't see a lot of spot damage in here, right? So that could be quite nice. Now on just amber pips alone, I feel like this is pretty strong, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. 13 is pretty good for a Star Alliance, for a uh, for a Worlds Collide deck. Um, and on top of that, it just has like a lot of effects that are going to speed things up, um, that are going to slow your opponent down, um, mess them up a bit. So I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if we use the Harbinger of Doom very likely. It kind of depends on whether we have board control or not. Um, I worry about like putting it out in a situation where it will, you know, come back to haunt us later. But uh, but a lot, most of the other stuff was pretty solid, and I liked it. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this one. This was Comrade R. Windcrag, uh, D. Slogus, and Star Alliance. Hope you enjoyed going through this with me, and uh, that you'll get out there and forge some keys.